right, YouTube, I guess it's my turn to make a video. Seems like that's what everybody that builds a top bar hive wants to do, and I pretty much learned how to build mine from watching everybody else's videos, so I'll share with you what I did. Nothing's really different, but I'm proud of it, so what do you know? Uh, to start off, the roof was uh, pretty simple. I just had this piece of plastic that was actually left in my garage by the former owners of this house, and finally found a use for it. I just folded it over to the triangular mounts here and just stuck some screws through it. It should work to keep the rain off my bees. But uh, let me pull this off for you. And I apologize for the horrible film quality. This is my first YouTube video, so y'all should be proud of me. Anyway, uh, something I learned from another guy, I don't know if it'll work or not, is this uh, entrance box. What it does is instead of having the holes drilled, most people will drill their entrance holes, you know, down here on the side somewhere. What this actually does is I've drilled the holes. Now I drilled these on this end on accident. Drilled them up top. Drilled them on the wrong end. And I'll explain to you why it's the wrong end here in a minute. So I drilled three on the other end. And then I put this box over top of them. Now the guy that I learned this from, he said the reason is your bees will crawl in the bottom there and then they crawl up top and they enter on the top of the frame and it might keep any unsuspecting uh, uh, hive beetles or varroa mites from falling down on top of the bees. So I figured I'll give it a shot and if it doesn't work on the low end I'll open up the other and let them have it. But I did build it to the right specs so that my entrance feeder can sit in there. And then I've got my entrance reducer that I carved out to sit right in there beside it. So I get my bees here in just a couple days. I'm really excited and God, I hope this works because I don't want to lose all that money. Uh, the top bars themselves, I actually built out of, this was actually some cedar that I had sawed out. I actually got this tree from a guy on Craigslist, said he had a cedar tree he wanted to get out of his yard and I knew another guy that saw out some lumber so I put two and two together and I got some gorgeous cedar lumber sawed out for $19 is what this guy charged me and I got here's the whole rest of the pile over here in my garage all that cedar sawed out rough cut for $19 anyway what I did was I took the regular old top bar sawed a groove in her and uh, then I had this eighth inch I guess it's actually 316 stock laying around and I just cut a little tongue and then glued it in there so these are actually upside down for everyone that knows anything about top bars and say oh those are upside down yeah they're upside down but I had them like this because of how I glued them. But I'll take a couple out of the way. You can see inside. Again, there's my entrance holes there on the inside of that. So the bees will come in your entrance down here, and then they'll crawl up inside and then go through the holes and come back down inside the hive. So I hope this works. Uh, just like some of the others, I did put a glass viewing window in there. And I'm going to cover it up with some of that thin stock that I've got so the bees so it's dark so they like it and uh, I just haven't got around to doing that and then the last little thing and I told you I'd tell you why these were on the wrong end I actually incorporated my slide board so it's just built in to the one piece of trim there and when it all slides together if you look underneath the hive you don't really notice it. Well, you notice that because it's not lined up. But the idea is that once it's all put together, you wouldn't notice it. So, working on my furniture building skills. Uh, anything else I want to tell you? Oh, the bottom mesh, uh, that is one eighth inch, or, yeah, it's one eighth inch hardware cloth. Uh, some people say a quarter inch will work, but I thought the quarter inch hole looked a little big, so I went with the one eighth. But that should give them some ventilation. Oh, the number, the other main thing that I did different was I had some plans to build this off of. I actually modified them just a little bit. I made it shorter. So, you see my end boards here. These are your stopper boards. These are actually left over from the first top bar hive that I built and then left set out in the weather with no roof on it and it, that's why they're all weathered. But hey, they're still straight. They'll still work. My wife doesn't like them. She wants me to build new ones that look pretty, but the bees aren't going to care. Anyway, what I did was I'm down here in Houston, Texas, and last year we had a phenomenal drought, so it got ungodly hot, and I've heard of issues where your top bar, the comb will actually fall off of them because it gets hot and soft. So to help prevent that, hopefully, I actually just made it shorter. I think these are nine inches, 
plans I had called for 11. So I haven't figured up the volume difference on what the weight difference will be, but hopefully if we keep the combs a little bit smaller, he won't quite get as heavy with honey. Maybe they won't fall off on me. Maybe they will. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't know. Maybe some of y'all have questions. Maybe you guys all think I'm a rookie and a noob. That's fine, because I am. But uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, any advice you want to let me know, like I said, I get my first package of bees on Saturday. I am terribly excited. My neighbors are excited for the free honey. I don't know if they're excited about the bees necessarily, but they're cool with it. And, uh, well, I did have bees last fall in my old hive. And I learned a little bit from them. They, uh, their ones I got, they were a, a rogue colony I got out of a lady's backyard just to learn from. And I think, I never did see a queen with them. I think they were queenless, and I think that's why they're acting weird. And they ended up leaving me after a couple days. But anyway, I learned a little bit from them. I don't recommend doing that for your first package because obviously they didn't have a queen and they didn't survive. But I learned enough. Had them for a few days. Got stung a few times. Learned to be patient. So, uh, Other than that, the construction is all cedar. I just bought cedar, uh, finished cedar from Lowe's. It was easier to work with. Yeah, I know I got a big pile of unfinished cedar that I could have used, but this stuff was easier to work with being dimensional lumber. But I did use my own for the top bars, and like I said, man, this is amazing. Everybody out there that wants to be a, you know, a prepper or a survivalist, get on Craigslist, man. There's free stuff. You can find amazing stuff on Craigslist. And like I said, my buddy with the sawmill, he does it for a hobby, sawed all this out for $19. So, all that whole pile. Anyway, I better shut up. I don't want to be like all the rest of them and say I'm almost done and then I'm not almost done. So, like I said, if anybody has any questions, comments, post them. I'd appreciate it. My first YouTube video. So, I hope you all like it.